Hello boys and girls, I'm Flipper55 with Fat Finger Gaming and welcome to Fat Finger Gaming's continuing coverage of the 2015 college football season. I almost said playoffs there for the hell of it. I have no idea. Anyways, we got an SEC East matchup here. Missouri and Florida. Missouri is undefeated in the SEC East uh, 2-0. Florida is one and one. We will see if Missouri can continue an undefeated SEC record. Alright, Matty Mulk uh, was not impressive in his last game. Well, he's thrown for 134 yards, but it is what it is. They got the win, and that's all that matters. Both these teams have played the Kittens of Chaos, uh, and both of them have played them in Lexington. Florida lost a game in which they they started off the game with an interception for a touchdown and that was the only touchdown of the game while Missouri it was just a absolute sl uh, slog fest in which Kentucky went ahead late in the game with 13 to 12 but Missouri would go back to, it would go down the field score touchdown and, and went 20 to, to 13. But that's been the extent of their SEC games as of right now. Florida had a very nice win in Gainesville against Tennessee, upping that series win record to 11 in a row uh, against the Volunteers. That's just, that's insane. That, that ought to make people mad. Uh, speaking of history, and history's in the stadium, Florida has never, ever, ever one here in Columbia, never in the history of the Florida football, Florida has never won in Columbia. Let that sink in. Now also let it sink in that the first time they've ever played in Columbia was two years and Florida lost. So they are 0-1 in the stadium and it really doesn't matter that they've never won here in this stadium because it's only been one time. Absolutely love the way you can spin statistics just for the hell of it. Uh, but... Missouri, it's real weird here with the SEC East discussion is because on one hand, Georgia to me is the team to beat, which obviously people have been taking me up on that offer and beating them. But on the other hand, the team that I feel is going to win the division is Missouri, and that centers around the schedule and less around the talent. And of course, if you guys have been watching this game, I will be watching this season. Most of the time we play Missouri, I will say the same thing, is I, is I think the schedule is geared towards Missouri again. I think they need to figure out a different way how they work the schedules. I realize they have protected rivals and that skews it uh so i don't know how they change I, I don't know how they work these schedules but i can tell you without a doubt that oh man that blocker picks up that guy that, that is a walk into the end zone but i can tell you that the schedules for the last couple years have been more it, it, interdivision for the most part i think Last year, He's tackled at the 14 -yard line. was it yard last? No, it was two years ago. It was two years ago, Missouri went through a, a terror and won the like three road games and wound up making the divisional like title, I think. One of the, it was either last year or the year before. So, yeah, in that way, they did go to, to opposing teams' homes and beat them. But they have, they will basically have the easiest inter-schedule uh, until, you know, until Texas A&M actually becomes a huge powerhouse. They will have the easiest schedule. I mean, you got Georgia always has Auburn. Auburn's always tough. Florida always has LSU. LSU is tough. Tennessee always has Alabama. Alabama's always tough. I mean, this is this is what we're talking about here. 
Uh, every now and then you get you get a down year by those three teams, which happens. And then you can see our scoreboard is gone in a second. I will uh, I'll put this thing on instant replay just so we reflash. If you guys ever see that, that that's that's all you have to do to get the the scoreboard to come up. Is just pause it, go to instant replay, back out of it, and your scoreboard will be back. It's first and ten. First Ball in the twenty-nine. I'm sure most of you guys who who are watching this have played this game for a long, 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 long time. So I don't think I can teach you guys any tricks. That's for sure. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. I really do enjoy enjoy NCAA football. I enjoy Madden just as much uh, to a point. With room to work. The five. The uh, oh nice Kevin Taylor just shucks off about four dudes to finally get into the end zone. All right, Florida goes up seven three. Oh, the, the SEC very interesting. We started off the season with the home team seeing have quite an advantage. I mean Virginia Tech beat Ohio State. We had Oklahoma go to Tennessee. And Tennessee beat them. Kentucky beating Florida and Lexington. Uh, Georgia going to Vanderbilt and almost losing to Vanderbilt. And then, you know, last week we had the three SEC team West just completely destroy the uh, East. But I guess then again, the week, bef the week before... The week before, Alabama was home against against Ole Miss, and they and they beat them. Yeah, Florida was home against Tennessee, and they beat them. Okay, so I guess I, I guess it seems to. Okay, so it's not that it's not that bad. For a second there, I was thinking that that after the start, it was just nothing but home teams losing. But it wasn't. I take it back. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if, if Missouri can pull off its third straight divisional uh, title. If they do, from what we've seen in the in the East versus West matchup, it'll be the seventh straight time that the SEC East walks away with, with, with the uh, SEC West walks away with a championship trophy. But we'll see. I mean, this is why we play the games. Oh, get back to, to the man thing. So, I you know I really enjoyed the football games. I've stopped I've stopped buying them since you can't do this in the game. So the last the last man I bought is and I'm looking over at my Madden Madden 12 because Madden 13 they did away with spectator mode. And so I just I I refuse to to pick it up and I refuse to pick it up because. I like the RPG feel of football. Football, sports game in general, can be the best RPG known to man. Because you play these games like Skyrim and, and, and uh, Oblivion and Mass Effect and all that fun stuff. You, you, know, you play these games in which they tell you that your decisions matter, you know, you matter in this world, la 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 la, it just keeps on going. However, when you replay it, you know, like, Skyrim's king. Oh god, what am I trying Skyrim's king, did Skyrim's king get overthrown? Alright, let's just, let's just... I can't remember. I can't remember those video games because I've played them in, in so long. Anyways, to say you know, say in the the uh, in Skyrim's world, uh, the king gets overthrown. It's scripted. It'll happen. You know, say he gets overthrown, and your decision is the one that puts a certain king on the throne. 
Well, that's great and all, but it's still a scripted event that, that the king gets overthrown. Hell, even if the king, even if you you are the one who decides through events that the king is going to get overthrown, or, you know, yada, 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 in a football game, if you were to translate an NCAA Madden to Skyrim, you could continue to play it, and you could replay it. And you could do the same thing that you did before. And the king may not get overthrown. While you're trying to do what your your quest that you're trying to do, the world goes on. It's not scripted whatsoever. The world goes on. The king could get overthrown. Another king in a faraway land could take over. Another king in the far you could you know. A whole bunch of things can happen on their own. Just like here, just like here with with NCA, you know, if you look at NCA football, you can go undefeated and still not make it to the championship. In Madden, you could be sitting ten and six and need another team. Oh, geez, that would have been really bad. Sean Harris almost wound up losing the ball, and that that would have been a touchdown for sure. Do a job so a, this is the fun way. about being able to be in spectator Harris mode is the fact that, that uh, while you're playing We're your dynasty, seven. even without spectator mode because there, there's a sim, the world's still going on around you. And in fact, with spectator mode, what you can do like this is look into other games and see how things are unfolding in the, other, in, in the world. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the twenty. It's it, 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 really it came prepared to play defense today, and the plan. It's just amazing how so sports game, you how much of a world you can have, actually have that's so much better than the best RPGs around. And, and that's just from the standpoint that you matter in this world, but there are earth-shattering things that can happen around you that are not scripted. Now, I, like I said, you can, you can in Madden, you can go 10-6 and six in, in a bunch of other teams fighting for the wild card can go 11 and 5 or or go 10 and 6 and have a uh, have a tiebreaker which would make you either Super Bowl champs or sitting at home for the playoffs here in the NCA it's it, it's even worse here in the NCA one win or loss by another team can shift things and put you out of the national championship so that's so the reason why I love these games. I, I love football, and I love RPGs, and, and I love immersing myself in a world. And this is what I'm bringing to you guys. So, I'm going to turn it over to the game. You are going to watch the rest of this Missouri-Florida game. Florida... Obviously, hanging in there. I don't. I. By no shape or form should either one of these teams be head and shoulders above the other team. But it will not surprise me at the end of the season. Oh my God! How did he get that? Man, it wasn't hard. It had been hard. Graves. That ball would have been going back for a touchdown, and Florida would be up 14-3 right now. Good DB. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Of course, there, there he is making that tackle. That's not Hargraves. I'm trying to. Oh, uh, they won't show show who tackled. I don't know who number five is. Now he's at the bottom of the screen. He's the one. He's the one who let that that catch go through his hands. Wide open, and he just. Oh, it. speaking of being wide open, speaking of dropping things. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this So, long I'm going to turn this over to the game. You guys uh, sit here and enjoy the game. Should be a close game. Won't be surprised at the end of the day if Missouri wins this and goes on and wins the SEC East title. But we shall see the SEC East right now is anybody's game. Anybody's game. Georgia should have two losses, but they have one loss. Tennessee has started off 0-2. 
could very well start off 0-3. That game is next. Georgia and Tennessee will be next uh, uploaded. So if you're wondering about that game, that game will be next. And the Kittens of Chaos sort of started their chaos, but unfortunately lost to Missouri, which they shouldn't have. They should have won. So the SEC East is a mess. The SEC West, there's some good teams making some good moves. And we'll see what happens with the SEC West, but I wouldn't consider that. The only way I consider that a mess is if Mississippi State finds itself close to being back in it. Then I'll consider that a mess. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the season. I hope you guys are enjoying the SEC coverage and any other conference battles going on that you that you happen to like to see that's sort of why this dynasty is all these videos is just the fact that you guys can get behind either your favorite team or your interested conference or whatever uh, so hope you guys are enjoying y'all have fun It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets out to around the 22. Game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. Throws a bullet. That's incomplete. And he let his receiver a little too much. One of the things you look for when you have a young quarterback is how he releases the football. Here you can see he releases the ball a little bit early, a sign that he wasn't completely comfortable with what he was seeing. Florida is up one. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. No game. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. run there now he tries to buy some time and he's tackled in the open field Tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Tackle at the 49. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida is up by four. 
He's at the 40. Has it to the senior. Tackle at about the 35. First down. From the 35 yard line. First down. Gets out to around the 25. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want none of this. First down. Quick throw, and he's taken down right around the eight yard line. That's a gain of 17 on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points hey, here. Hey, watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Looks for his running back incomplete. run there as they work the outside. Taylor gets seven yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. Third down now and goal to go. Ball on the one. Touchdown, Gators. He hits the PAT. A six-play, 49-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got a receiver and he dropped it. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. Yard line. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you could see it in the way he threw that pass. Tackle made around the 44 yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. He's going left. Got it. Touchdown. The Tigers always knew that this kid was going to have a great career. Highly recruited. There's his first touchdown. I'm sure there's going to be many more. And he converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's get you up to date on everything going on in the top 25. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Tigers unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Florida is up four. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game seven on the play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He fights forward to about the 33. Up in the back. 
field. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Thompson awaits the snap. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. So the Tigers quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job right now. Look at that scoreboard. They've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 31. Fuller on the tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll make it third and 13. Looking for his man, incomplete. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Ryan is the punter. Power fields it at the 34. He got hit hard. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Florida holds a four-point lead. The Gators taking their first time out of the half. A pickup of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 45-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Out of bounds at the 39. Call it a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. With the pass incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. Second and 10. Ball on the 39. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. You know, it takes a lot of courage for these tight ends to go over the middle of the field to try to secure these catches. This time, he gets separated by a big hit from the football. Screen pass. He's got his half back. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. From the 28-yard line. First down. Gets it out, and he's met immediately. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Florida is up by four. Here comes the pressure. Quick toss. And he's hit immediately. Game of 28 yards. That makes it first and goal. 36, 36. Get up, Green Eight. And he throws it away. From the four yard line, second down. He tackles him for a loss. Of 
He's scrambling, looking for the corner. Touchdown, Florida! And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11-play, 59-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 24-13. It's fielded at the two. He's tackled at the 21. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. And he's hit immediately. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. Florida is in front by 11. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Under pressure, going deep, lays it out there. Can't connect. Johnson breaks it up. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick pass, and they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. Throws it deep, and down he goes at about the 31. First down. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Quick strike to the receiver. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That's a gain of 25 on the play. That makes it first and goal. tackles at the 10. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. From the 10 yard line. It's second down. Incomplete pass. Number five, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and goal. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down around the 15-yard line. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and he's got it. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in the top 25. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Clemson, they're in danger of dumping their third straight game. Florida gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 31-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires incomplete. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Ready! Perkins was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. 
Number nine Defense comes in at quarterback. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. The Tigers quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 44. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 44. by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled Thompson is waiting for the snap what a collision you know what it might not have been a lot but they moved the ball forward football's not a game won 100 yards at a time you take what you can get. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback is just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. He sailed that one high. That's not a bad incompletion because he saw the blitz coming and just got rid of the ball to avoid losing yardage. It's third down and 10. Ball of the 29. Here we go. He wants it all. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. Tackle at about the 45. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. down at the 37. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's tackled at about the 35. made right around the 30. Woo, defense, five on the play. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30. <laughs> Quick throw, almost intercepted. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. immediately tackled not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that from the 19 yard line first down the 10 makes it out to about the seven call it a gain of 12 yards that makes it first and goal and this is the eighth play of the drive Now 
he's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. Florida is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 38. The Tigers have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's at the 40. They got him, and it's intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. The Tigers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Slings it. Touchdown, Gators! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Ready, red, 18, He scrambles. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. Can't get away from the pressure. Total loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. I'm coming. I'm coming. Forty's Mike. Forty's a Mike. Throws out on the screen through his hands. Tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the Makes offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. And down he goes at the 26. Return for a gain of eight yards. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Number nine, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Florida with a big advantage. Get out, get out. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. He's up to 300 yards passing. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. He's really helped his team roll today. There's no question about that. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Check three, check three, check three. He's tired of me. He's tired of us. Down. He throws. Wide open, but it falls incomplete. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. 
That'll make it third and one. Big opening. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. From the 34-yard line. First down. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. McCollum was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Key 15. Key 15. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Quick strike to the back, no good. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good! kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Kickoff return 16 yards. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. So the sack makes this a second and long. Let's get off the field. Ready! White 80! White 80! That's three down and one to go. Florida is running away with it. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Mike 40, Mike 40. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they'll get him in the backfield. Behind the line. Loss of one on the play. Third down. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the seven. Can't connect. Well, that's a big time play by the defense here to knock that football away to set up a pivotal fourth down. Powell back deep to return. Powell fields it at the 44, and he's taken down at the 35. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking, and it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 21. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. From the 21-yard line. First down. Florida up big. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown, Florida! This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. He makes the PAT. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. 
And he's tackled at the 24. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll bring up second and 11. That's a great tackle at the 17-yard line. That is a loss of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Stop your whining. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Ready. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it fourth and 14. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. What a great game for this quarterback, showing off a wide-ranging skill set. Well, he's really the X factor. Just when the defense thinks they have him contained, he's able to break away and improvise and pick up 20 more yards running. And let's also recognize the offensive line. This defense has been coming after this quarterback. And to the offensive line's credit, they've given him enough time to be able to read the defense and make good throws. Number 11 makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it second So it's two. second down and about two yards to go. Florida looking to put this game away if they score here. Quick out to his receiver. He's brought down in the open field. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Hey, watch 11, watch 11. <laughs> Gets it out quickly. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your down. offensive progress. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Check the running back, 25. 25. All day, just like that. Just yeah. like that. Yeah, the way he's Motion, motion, bump, 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 bump. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Dennis brings him down at the 25-yard line. That'll bring up third. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tight right, tight right. Watch the backer, watch the backer. Nice run there. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Florida is winning big. And that sets them up with a first and goal. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of four on the play. That brings up second and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Yeah, motion! New seven. Motion, motion, motion. They get on the board again. Touchdown. 
the halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he converts the extra point. Martin has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. Tackle around the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And he's got his man. He goes out of bounds at the 41. That'll bring up third and So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Hey, well, Mike 40, Mike 40. Roger, Roger. Here we go. Here we go. I got 29. And he hits him hard at the 42. That's good for a gain of one yard. Fourth down. Ryan is waiting for the snap. Powell fields it at the 26. Tackle made at the 28. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Under a minute left in the game. Nice run up the middle. Taylor gets about four yards on the play. That'll make it third and nine. He might have a chance. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. A fun week for one team, a nightmare for the others. It's final. Florida, 58. Missouri, 13.